to do that over and over again. You know, we can record it once and just keep playing it. Right. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try a little card trick. And uh, for this trick, I'm going to take out four cards that are pretty much easy to remember. We use this one, this one, this one, and this one. Now, please settle down. Settle down. Now, besides those four cards, we're also going to use a couple other cards from the pack. I'll show you what I mean. First, let me put these out in a little row. Diamonds, spades, hearts, and clubs. Now, the only cards that are important for this trick are the four aces. I'm going to use some other cards, but you'll see as I go along. Okay, so we start off, we'll cover the ace of diamonds with a few cards, and the ace of spades, and a few cards for the ace of hearts, and last but not least, the ace of clubs. Now, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to violate one of the most important rules in magic and tell you ahead of time exactly what's going to happen. That way you know what to look for, okay? So I'm going to make this ace, this ace, this ace, and this ace vanish in a most remarkable manner, okay? We'll start off with the ace of clubs. Watch. All I do is give the cards a little twist, and when I twist the cards, the first ace, the ace of clubs will completely vanish from the pack. That's card number one. I'll do it again. Thank you very much. I'll do it again. You don't need to applaud. This is like real magic. I have the power. <laughs> Watch. The second ace is the ace of hearts. All I do is twist, and when I twist, that's what makes the cards go. Now, some people think that maybe the cards stick together, but I assure you, when they go, they really do go. As a matter of fact, if you watch the Ace of Spades, you can almost see it go. Look, almost. You can't really see it go, just almost, okay? Now, I was trying to think... Thank you. Now, I was trying to think of a good ending for this pick. Would it be a pretty good ending if I could get them over here over with this one, if I can get them all to come over here, yeah, that'd be yeah. okay. But we're with Louis Malanga, L and L Publishing. We deserve some something much better. So what I'll do is I'll make that one go as well. Oh. Now comes the hard part: trying to get the aces back. Okay. So to get the cards back, all you have to do to get the aces back is you have to give the cards what I call the magic spell. I'll show you the magic spell. We'll spell to the ace of spades. So all I have to do is take the cards like this, give them a little cut, and now I can spell spade. That's a C E Ace O F S P A D E. The Ace of Spade, and I get the Ace of Spade. Now, not only will I cut the spell the Ace of Clubs, but I'll cut the exact amount necessary. That's the exact amount. A C E O F C L U B S. B S. The whole show B S. Okay. Let's see. Diamonds is next. That's A C E O F D I A M O N D S. There's the diamond. And I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, my favorite number has always been nine. So let's take out a nine and we'll count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah.